Hello, welcome back. Today it's all about running adventures and we're going to be talking about empty rooms or empty dungeon rooms. That is the topic for today. Uh, I have been hanging on to this information for a little while. I have also collected a lot of feedback from the community and compiled it. So this isn't just my ideas, these are the wider community as well. For those of you who are hoping that I would be doing something like that, that's exactly what my intention was. Um, I will be putting up a poll. I see that uh, Fred Huber is here. Welcome. Grab some food, some drink, make sure you're comfortable. My presentation should be relatively quick and then we'll go into building some dungeon uh, tools. Some, something that you can use, something that you can incorporate into your adventure. Uh, a bit of a think tank as we normally do. But first off, we have a presentation to do. So let's let's cover that first. Hi, welcome to How to RPG. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I want to talk about role playing games. The topic is very specific, and that is why have empty dungeon rooms or empty rooms in your adventures? In fact, there are a number of different reasons for doing so. Reasons that I think a lot of people have forgotten over time or never knew about because they're so new to the role playing scene. So, the reason, or the some of the reasons, there are many different reasons for including empty rooms in your dungeons or your interior locations. One, because it's it provides a place to rest and recover for the party of player characters. One of the most common reasons for doing so. Empty rooms also waste time having the player characters explore them so that wandering monsters and patrols can find the party of player characters and then either engage them in some sort of social interaction, but more likely a battle or fight to drain resources from them. It presents a room and transition. An empty room is a room and transition. Uh, it's been cleared out and it's going to be used for something else in the future. That future thing has just not been put there yet. Uh, it stops every single room having a monster encounter in it, a trap, a puzzle, a hazard or treasure to find. It provides a game master with an opportunity to add their own ideas to a pre-made adventure. One of the reasons for having empty rooms in some of the older pre-made adventures is this was a place you would put your own ideas in. It allows the player character to explore the dungeon area more quickly in theory, but it doesn't really do that. Make a dungeon region appear larger. If you want your dungeon region to appear larger, having empty rooms will certainly achieve that. It gives a place a really old, scary atmosphere, and it makes it feel authentic, because many locations do in fact have at least one empty room, particularly if they're quite large. It affects a player character's stress level uh, by lowering that stress level in an environment surrounded by tension and threats and things that will try to kill them. It creates uncertainty certainty in a player character. Your player character is expecting there to be an ongoing threat and we lull them into a false sense of security by providing them with an empty room. Sometimes an empty room is simply just empty. And also empty rooms only really appear empty. Sometimes they are hiding something. So empty rooms could be hiding secrets, doors, passageways, trap doors, compartments. Particularly if you're dealing with a room that has no visible exit and only the entrance way that you came through in the first place. This is really the gist of dealing with your empty room. Many different reasons, many different ways of applying it it is a tool with many different functions, like a Swiss Army knife. I'm hoping this was useful to you, and if it was, fantastic. Uh, I want to thank my patrons who support me on Patreon so I can keep doing this every single week. I'm hoping that this was useful and you will find one of these tools and reasons why there is an empty room in your dungeon, and you'll be able to apply it to your game. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. Okay, that was quick and sweet, as I am trying very hard to do nowadays. <laughs> I'm trying very, very hard nowadays to make 
my little presentations more shorter, smaller, more confined, um, more to the point and, and breaking them up so that uh, they're, they're not too hard to sort of digest because I know I have a temptation to, uh, to sort of go on and on about a topic forever and ever and ever. So um, before I start chatting in to people in the chat, I, I would like to just say that something um, quite sad has happened just recently in the last couple of days. It is related to Dungeons and Dragons and the RPG industry. And I don't normally talk about this sort of thing, but because I've made so many videos on the topic, I thought it was important for you to hear. So you will know that the original starter, starter box set for Dungeons and Dragons had an adventure in it called The Lost Mine of Fandelver. And I have made many different live streams, many different videos. It is probably the cornerstone of uh, my channel. Well, not quite, but at least one of the cornerstones of my channel is the Lost Mine of Fandelver content and uh, the material that I've put together that you can get on Patreon and, and off, the, off YouTube. Now, Wizard of the Coast has stopped printing the starter box set. They are only sort of um, printing the newer one. And that's it. For very good reasons, I understand. But it does mean like access to the Lost Mine of Fandelver is quite difficult now. Um, they were providing the Lost Mine of Fandelver for free on D&D Beyond which I thought was good. I thought it was great. They've actually decided to remove that as a free option now. They've put out a book that has reprinted it in a hardcover book called Fandelver and Below. And so obviously they want to sell that book, which means they want people to buy that book to get the Lost Mine of Fandelver rather than access the Lost Mine of Fandelver since it's half the book from um, their online um, assets. And so now Dragons of Stormwreck Isle is the adventure you can access for free. So I just thought I would let you know that um, you will find that you can't access the Lost Mine of Fandelver for free unless you're finding pirated versions on the internet because it is no longer going to be supported by Wizards of the Coast as a free supplement on D&D Beyond. Okay? And... Um, I think that's a sad thing. I actually think there's a lot to be said for that particular adventure. Um, it reminds me a lot of um, Keep on the Borderlands. And I would definitely say that, I think frankly, um, Dragons of Dragons of Stormwreck Isle is, is all right. But it's, it's, it's such a small adventure that there's, there's not much to sort of, there's not a lot you can do with it once you've run the adventure. You really have to be quite creative. You have to do your own thing, which is fortunate because that's what we do here on this channel is help you. And that's what today is all about is helping you make your own stuff. OK, so let's go through the chat. I see there's a couple of people here. Um, I want to get to all of you if I can. And uh, yeah, feel free to take part in that poll. It gives me an idea of where th people's heads at. I can see that Fred Huber is saying that um, you should you you should not have empty rooms. There is a. a, a there are people out there who believe that the concept of including empty rooms in a dungeon location or an interior location like a building or a house or something like that or a castle is a bad thing to do. I don't think it is. I think it's simply a tool. I think the, the problem comes up when you have too many empty rooms. If you include too many empty rooms, you're going to create problems for yourself because it will be frustrating for the players as they try to figure out are there secret doors here or passageways, compartments? Is there something important about this location or is it just another empty room that we just need to get through really quickly so we don't waste time? So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, and we've got Nacho Nacho Man. Nacho Nacho Man is a patron just as uh, Fred Huber is. Thank you for being here, Nacho Nacho Man. Jacob Sutter. Hello. How are you, Jacob? Um, I usually won't wouldn't use an empty room, but I'm interested in some of the other perspectives. And yeah, so I've given you many different perspectives as to why you would use an empty room. But if you don't use empty rooms, that's really up to you. Um, I'm not here to tell you how to run your game. I'm just here to give you options and explain stuff. That's it. <laughs> really, my opinion means very little, just as any YouTuber on YouTube has. You know, their opinions really don't mean very much including my own um, really it's it's what you have <laughs> you have decided you can live with okay <clears throat> what do you got here i will have a, a room that looks empty but it, it, it's not and this is one of the common uses of an empty room is 
It looks empty, but it's not really empty. There's something else going on. I didn't get into the concept of using um, illusions in an empty room, but you certainly can. Yep. Okay, Nacho Nacho Man. Um, what have you got here? I've only been running five room dungeons recently. Okay, but my, my players have been showing interest in exploring an under mountain. Right. Well, under mountain is a mega dungeon. It's quite a large area. The idea of running a mega dungeon gives me DM anxiety. So the same thing applies to me. I have run um, under mountain, the first level, and um, I've run the second level the, the new, and, and some of the newer publications, but I ran, I ran the older version as well because the first level is pretty much the same no matter what. Um, and I, I you know, <laughs> Wizards of the Coast, when they make stuff, they're really just remaking stuff that's been made before uh, quite often. So uh, not surprising. But I do understand your anxiety around having a large space that's that has so many things. They could go, you know, north, south, east, west, and what do you deal with? How do you deal with a mega dungeon? It's not really a question of of um of answered, because we this topic today is about dungeons, right? And dungeons can mean lots of different things. But I've never really talked about how do you how do you contend with a dungeon that has thirty to forty locations where every time they make a decision, there are potentially uh, three or four different choices to make, depending on how many passageways or doors leading off the, the room that they move into us. I mean, that is, that, is a, that is a big task to perform. I know that you have to do a lot of preparation if you, if you feel that you need to prepare. Um, it's good when people write dungeons and they're concise and neat and easy to find and the the, the, uh, the passages are small so that you don't have to actually process too much information but de definitely navigating a mega dungeon is a, a giant pain in the butt sometimes now let me see if i can get this name right I've, i i don't think i recognize the name but let's see um abba abba Carb classic gaming hello abba Carb classic gaming i hope i got your name correct um, I'm running my first, and it's the Lost Mine of Fandelver. Well, I'm, it seems to be the first adventure a lot most people do. Um, and 5e, and, and I know some people have converted the Lost Mine of Fandelver to older versions of the game as well, or different versions, so different versions of uh, d d you know, Pathfind and stuff like that. So yeah, um, you'll find plenty of stuff on my channel on that topic if you're, if you're wondering. <laughs> and if you want it all right, written out, it's on Patreon. Perfect. Okay, good. I'm glad I got the right name right. Uh, what else have we got here? I have the Lost Mine of Fendalva PDF because it, it didn't um, trust it to be a free forever. Yes, Fred, uh, I agree. And the starter set with it. So I actually bought a, a starter set. I have not unwrapped it, the, the older starter set, when it was available. Um, it was hard for me to get because I, I waited so long and it's just sitting on my shelf. Uh, I do have the, the original one that I purchased back in 2014, but I did buy another one just before it went out of print. Um, hard to get in New Zealand when uh, these things stop getting printed. Very, very difficult. Okay. Um, Stormwreck Isle is probably a better adventure for a first-time um, DM. And I agree. I think that uh, Stormwreck Isle, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, is probably a better adventure if you are a first-time dungeon master. Yes, and, and this is one of the things, this is why you'll only see one video on um, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. It doesn't really require YouTube tutorials. Um, I, I think anybody who's making a whole bunch of YouTube tutorials for that particular adventure are really pulling your leg and making a, a fuss out of something that, I mean, it's, it's a pretty solid adventure for somebody who's completely new. Nothing's perfect, nothing's going to appeal to everybody. But there's nothing wrong with the adventure, really. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's got all the aspects that you need. And I think my players, when we played through it, they had a good time. You know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't magic, uh, but it, it certainly, it, was, it wasn't bad. It was, a, it was a good time. And it's not the adventure that makes playing D&D &D, um, really fun. It's the group. It's not the game master. It's the players and the game master com combined. If you get all those things right and everybody's doing what they need to be doing, that's what makes the experience great. 
Uh, okay, and I, I also expect this video to be a, about all of the uh, the map mapping, having no furniture drawn, and, and so that DMs can describe the empty room with no creatures, no furniture to make use of. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So yeah, not all maps need to have all the furniture drawn, for sure. So I think what we will do is, I will make a note that in the future, I need to talk about how to deal with something like um, tracking a, a mega dungeon map, okay? So I'm going to make a note now, tracking uh, mega dungeon maps. This is a topic that at some point I will have to write something on and compile. I'm not going to do it today because I like to be prepared and I like to think that I've actually spent some time and I'm not just um, pulling bullshit out of my ass, which I could do, I suppose, but that's not really what I want to do today. What I would like to do today, and I have a document here that I've started. I'm not going to share this document with you. One, because my room is really heating up and I don't think I can look up and down and up and down. I will share you share the document with you near the end. We started working on this and the, the idea behind it I want you, those of you who are here, to help contribute. I will be typing in my own ideas. And that is, we're going to create 100 different dungeon rooms or locations. And we'll start with just the name. The description I can deal with later. So, um, hashtag, uh, what are 100 different, different, come on, different, dungeon rooms and locations okay so this is your opportunity this is what we do in these live streams when we get to the tail end and we start uh, getting past the presentation and the, the chat i want you to give me some feedback but if you don't give me feedback i'm simply going to write up some stuff anyway we have currently about 29 locations that uh, people were sharing last time I will at least show you the beginning of that document so that those of you who are wondering are we going to be re repeating anything well that's certainly possible so that's why i'm going to read through that list first and then we're going to go straight back to my face so that i can just not worry about my eyes having to go from a large print to a small print on a phone okay so this is this is the the document here dungeon room list i've put it into alphabetical order so we don't repeat so an antechamber an armory an audience chamber an, um, an aviary uh, banquet hall bathroom barracks bedroom crypt gardens mine uh, we have a guard room living room sleeping quarters storeroom uh, pools of water caverns uh, sewer forge throne room uh, laboratory monster lair I put a question mark beside that because I was like, I felt like it was kind of like its own topic. A tomb, a torture chamber, we've talked about torture chambers before, a prison, a maze, a crevice, and that's really what we had. So I am all for you throwing ideas at me while I go through and start typing in what I think should be there as well. <clears throat> Hello, Jeremy, um, broke, uh, is it? Is it Brocken Blue, for Halloween run a one-shot th um, th through a Fred Scary version of Strahd's um, Ravenloft Castle. So Jeremy, um, I ran Ravenloft, just the castle Ravenloft, so essentially I was really just running the original Ravenloft adventure. Uh, I ran that using the 5e rules for my, um, my group last year, and uh, they actually turned it more into a Scooby-Doo session. And Ravenloft <laughs> so so which is fine you know that's what they really wanted uh, so yes I don't think I'll be doing that this year because somebody else is going to be running an adventure and I believe it will be Kirsty in our group who's going to be running uh, a level four adventure I'm not sure what we're going to be getting we'll, we'll find out when that uh, that happens which should be starting next week next weekend okay so Fred Hubert has already got given us a whole bunch of ideas an attic a basement a, a well a room I, so i see there's a lot of ideas so i need to make sure i put these into alphabetical order so um i don't think we had a dining room so we can put that in there 
I feel like the dining room is kind of like a banquet room, but I suppose we could say it's a, it's not quite as fancy as a banquet room, correct? Dining room is uh, a little bit smaller, maybe. A sauna, a day spa, <laughs> kitchen. I did. I did we have kitchen? We probably didn't have kitchen. Where's K uh, G? Uh, I think it's there. Kitchen. We certainly need to have a kitchen. Uh, and um, a palo. Yeah, a foyer, a parlor, and a foyer. A palo. I believe that goes there. Palo. Palo. I think I got it spelt right. No, I didn't. I got it spelt wrong. Palo. Okay, right. And then that's right because it's I'm using New Zealand English and that was North American. Okay. Foyer. F for foyer. Uh, don't feel that uh, I won't keep up. I, I will do my best. I will do my best to keep up. Okay. Foyer. Uh, what else have we got here? Bedrooms. I believe we had bedrooms already, so we don't need to worry about bedrooms. Um, a is it garderobe? Garderobe. Uh, this is like a toilet, isn't it? If I remember right. Right. I believe we already have armory. Yes, we do. Um, a gara, gara, gara. Now, is it G? Now, which one is it going into? Hello, how's it going? Um, overboard, overboard is a, uh, a moderator. Thank you for being here. Um, so, gotta rob, gotta rob. Come on. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be after this one, I think. I think. <laughs> he says. Uh, gotta rob. Okay. Which means at some point I've got to actually. Ah, oh, okay. Is that the correct spelling? Maybe that's the correct spelling there. Let's go copy. Let's check that. I didn't realize. Um, it is. Okay, so the, it's a French spelling. It doesn't have the U in it. Okay, now I see. It's like a basically French word for wardrobe. <laughs> it's a wardrobe. Do we even have the word wardrobe down? I don't think we had a wardrobe. A walk-in wardrobe. We definitely have to have a walk-in wardrobe. For sure. So a walk-in wardrobe, where are we? A wardrobe. Okay. Um, uh, the ideas are floating past fairly quickly now. An attic, a basement, a well room. Well, attic. At, 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 at. there we go, because it's there. Let's go attic. Uh, basement, base right there, basement, okay, and oh, we may already have a trophy room, but I'll check, basement, a well room, a well room, okay, is there another word? Other than well room? I don't know. Okay, so what else have we got here? Um, a craft, a hobby room, a sewing room, a loom room. It's like a music room, isn't it? I think they were called a, a solar. Isn't it called a solar? In a castle, it's usually called a solar, if I remember right. A sewing room. Sewing room. Yep. And sewing room. Uh, M for music. Oh, 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 oh. Have I uh, thrown everything out? Okay, so there's a few things out of out of position. Okay, let's go here. Music room. Okay, music room. Um, you head down, hobby. Oh, we've got some a morgue, an ice room. I, I guess a trophy room. So we've got quite a few ideas here. I was gonna 
going to fill up very quickly. I think it's called, is it called an ice room or a cold room? Um, there's another word for it as well. I don't think it's not also necessarily called a cold room or an ice room. Um, compost heap. A compost, a room that's a compost morgue. I think we had more here, so M for morgue. Demurg. Demurg. Okay, morg. Right, got it. Uh, the trophy room. I don't know if we had trophy room, which surprises me. But we will check. Throne room, torture. No, no, no. Trophy room's not there. Morg, and then okay. T for trophy. And okay, T for trophy, trophy there. And we'll go here and paste. Trophy room. Oh. <clears throat> A kill room for firing pottery and blowing glass. A kill? Yeah, we could put a kill in there. Why not? Let's put a kill in there. Okay, for kill. Kill. Um, firing pottery. Next. Solarum. Greenhouse. I don't know if we had um, greenhouse. But it's not about a Solarum. It's a good idea, though. Solarum, I think it goes about here. A little bit of organizing on my part required by the locks, but never mind, let's keep going. Solarum, um, I don't think we had greenhouse. We had gardens, but not greenhouse. So we'll put a greenhouse in. A greenhouse. And paste. A greenhouse. Okay. All right. A man cave. No, we don't need a man. An art gallery is not a bad idea. A padded room. What are we? What are we doing with the padded room? A drawing studio. Hmm. Let's mark myself here. Giant pipe organ. Oh, I feel like that's um. You. What? What are you talking? You're talking about chapel. It would be a. a a private theatre or an orchestra pit. I get what you're saying. I get it. Yep. A padded room. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. We're, are we, are we going to have, <laughs> I suppose we're going to have something there. Aren't we? Padded, padded room. Uh, paste. And let's move that there. Good. Sweet, sweet, and um, no, we're not going to do the man cave, <laughs> art gallery. Um, we're going to go art gallery, though. I think that's a good idea. Art gallery. The art a gallery. Galleria. Okay, what else have we got here? Um, a drawing studio, I agree, let's do this, oops, it moved, copy, do not mess around with that, and um, studio, a drawing studio, it's like the drawing room, isn't it, but it's a drawing studio. I mean, really, when it comes to a dungeon, you can make so many different things. It doesn't, there really isn't much of a limit to this, is it? You just keep going and going and going because there's everything can be called something very specific when it, it all falls into one thing. Um, anyway, let's keep doing this. Uh, a a theatre. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's put a theatre in. T, 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 
Empty a theater. Theater. Where are you? It should be going uh, somewhere probably about there. A theater. Paste it. Okay, we have a theater. Um, Harlem Suites. We've got an Avery already. War planning, a war room. A throne room. I believe we have throne room already. Or am I wrong? Yes, no, we have a throne room. It already exists, so that's fine. Um, a war room. I think that's a good idea. Let's, let's put a war room in. It's where you do your planning for your war. A war room. Have a little mo models around so that you can sort of place your, your troops. A treasure vault. Now, I should have a treasure vault, but maybe I don't. But it's a very good point. Um, point. There should be a treasure vault. So let us grab these. Copy, cut. And treasure vault. Paste. Treasure vault. Uh -huh. That's that one. Uh, no, it's okay. Change the spelling on that. Crips. I don't know. I did. I'm pretty sure we had crips down, but let's check. A crypt. Copy, copy, copy. C, C, C. Yes, we have crypt. Uh, we have crypt and we have crevice. So, yeah, we've got that covered. Uh, what else have you got here? A hidden safe room. A panic room, basically. Secret passages. Secret passages. I don't really think that falls into room. We're going to say a secret passage is a secret passage, right? Um... But a, a panic room, I like the idea of putting a panic room in there. Let's do that. That's uh, Fred's idea. Um, a panic. Panic room. Panic room or safe room. Okay. Um, Avery's. What's this? Wax candle making room. Okay. Uh, let's... What would it be called? I'm just trying to get my head around that. Um, a boiler, a boiler room. I actually think you're right. Fred, there should be a boiler room somewhere, shouldn't there? H. H I J K. Okay, I think it goes about there. <laughs> uh dear. I can see there's a few things here that are not going to survive the final um, final cut, but we'll see how we do. A hoarder's room. I think a boiler's room is a great idea. Let's add in a boiler room. Boiler, 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 boiler room. Yep. Absolutely. Um, a s okay. A surgical room. Okay, so a... Is it called a surgical room? Is it called something specific? Is it has it got a better name than just surgical room? Maybe it does. Um, surgical room. E um, surgical room. Okay. All right. Uh, next, um, a room for making candles. Officers, secretary, accountant, officers, office. Just the word office, I think, is all we need. Oh my, where are we going today? Office. Office. It would certainly count there. Bean counters. Yeah, the bean counters room, basically. Yep. Um, 
Now I'm just going to put them on the marker in here, drink some water, and I'm going to start looking back. I have a few books in front of me too. So if you run out of ideas, I'll, I'll, um, I'll chuck in some myself. Um, oh, we were talking about it as a chapel. I believe it's a chapel rather than a church, right? You can have a chapel in something else, so a chapel would be a good idea. So we'll go chapel. Somewhere for doing that sort of stuff. Um, art gallery, man cave, padded room. <laughs> We've got that one. Compost heap. Um, a What would be another? Is it a compost heap or would be something else? A dump? I suppose we... A rubbish pit? Um... I feel like the word dump might be the way to go. Let's just call it a dump. Something where you dump stuff, right? Dump. Dump. And uh, keep them going. Got that one. Got those. Oh, we didn't have a wine cellar. Root cellar. I think... Let's, let's go with at least having a cellar. A basement, cellar, very similar in their sort of concept, um, concept but uh, let's go with cellar for now. Cellars can be all sorts of things. Uh, kennels, a library, that's a good idea. Kennels and library, I like it. Kennels. Um, L for library. Library. Pretty sure we didn't have a library before, but I'll just check to make sure we don't. No, we had a laboratory, but we did not have a library. That's something I need to make sure I put in there. Uh, just move around. Cut. And under library. Laboratory. Paste. Okay, we're doing well. Okay, observatory, teleportation circle room. Teleportation room, let's just mark it as teleportation room and observatory is a good idea as well, absolutely. Um, observatory. Oh, oh my, oh, 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 where is the ooze? There it is, observatory. Observatory, and we also had teleport teleportation room. I think that's fine. We can have a teleportation room. Uh, I don't think we had one. No, we didn't. Tally, as in here. That goes there. Teleportation room. quite a common thing to use in adventures as it happens so yes a sauna yes we can do that let's put a sauna in spa of the day s for sauna and paste sauna okay uh let's see Where's my mark go? Okay, rooms for candles is possibly called a waxworks. That's not a bad idea. A wizard's tower, I don't think that's a room. I feel like that's a whole location in itself. We, what we could do is we can put in a um, a wizard workshop. Or we could start to call it a wizard workshop. Did we put in the word workshop? I don't, did we have workshop already? I don't think we had workshop, did we? Workshop. We didn't have workshop. Workshop. Um, another word we might be using office study, I guess, is study might be an idea. It's a study for a wizard, study for anybody, really. Study. Uh, good. Um, a wax works. Wax works. Uh, let's go wax, works, wax, there. Wax works. Okay. 
Uh, did we have stables, granary? These are actually good ideas. Tannery, uh, a carriage house. A carriage house. A carriage house is like one room. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Uh, alchemist's laboratory. Uh, we've got laboratory. I think we can do, we'll do fine with just having that. Um, do you have a place that grows herbs for potions? We have a greenhouse. We have a greenhouse. So let's go with carriage house. Um, carriage house. They were actual things, weren't they? Back in the day, a carriage house. And they were really just one big room. They weren't very special in terms of their design. They were just one room structures. Carriage house. And you could attach it to a house. A carriage house might be attached to an existing house or your dungeon, I suppose. So yes, a tannery. Yep, tannery is not a bad idea. Let's do tannery. T T T T T T for tannery. Ah, there we go. Tannery. Tannery. <coughs> and what else have we got next? Uh, stables. We didn't have stables, I don't believe. So we can do that. Stables. So S S S. Stables we should go right about here, I believe. Stables. Okay. All right. Granary. All right. I'm going to get my book out in a second because I can see people are running out of ideas. Uh, grain, grain, grain. Uh, gra yeah, grain. That should be about there. Granary. Granary. Okay, what are we looking at? Sheesh, there's a lot. There's a lot. A dovecot. Yes, we've we've talked about these in castles, dovecots. And it's a single single um, building. Um, it's a single room too, really. It's um, they're usually separated, but yeah, no, we could have a dovecot as part of a a dungeon dove do the cut do the cut do the cut okay all right now i just want to make another mark so oh, oh cooperative waffles how are you mushroom room a mushroom room let's just call it a fungus room shall we we can have a fungus room if you want to have a fungus room. It's pretty traditional to have a fungus room somewhere in your dungeon. So a fungus room. Fungus room. There you go. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> uh, so I got the granary. I got that. I got that. Um, now I just need to make a mark so I know where I'm up to on there. And I'll go back and see if I missed anything. A playroom, that's actually a very, a nursery. I think another better, better name might be the word nursery, right? Uh, let's go, let's go with nursery. Good idea. Nice one. Well done. Let's keep scrolling back here, see if I missed anything. I think I have missed a few things along the way. Um, no, we already had them, we had that, we had that. Um, I, th I don't know if I had already included, no, we did it, it's there. Basement, well done, da, Amory, da, okay. All right, so I'm, I'm up to date, so this means it's time for me to get out a book. Now, if you are trying to come up with different rooms for your, your dungeon or your interior location, I, I, can, I would advise you that at the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 1st Ed Edition uh, Dungeon Master Guide has probably a very, it's got a very good list. Most of the um, stuff that came later is based off that book in the first place. Keep those f um, fungi in the darkness and feed them shit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, the nursery, I've got the nursery down. Overboard had said um, a playroom, so I just called it a nursery. Anyway, <clears throat> there's a couple of other books that you could potentially look at. Usually you'd, you'll find most of the sort of stuff in a Dungeon Master Guide or a Game Master Guide. 
Um, the the fifth ed edition Dungeon Master Guide is really just reprinting and just reformatting what was done in the past in the uh, first ed edition AD and D book, but it still it still does a, a pretty good job of laying things out. Uh, a livery. Now, what is a livery? You're going to have to explain that one to me. What is a livery? A livery, a special uniform worn by a servant. Um, a short, short for livery stable. I don't know what that really means. This is this is an American concept, is it? Um, an identified design such as uniform. No, no, often no. Uh, what does livery mean in horses? Um, what is a livery in British English? Design ownership. Mm, no, I, I don't understand that. I don't. Know, I don't understand the uh, the reference. Um, cooperative um, waffles. Uh, a medical ward. We've got a surgical room. A medical ward is like a, a collection of connection a collection of um, rooms. A livery is where you store saddles. Oh, I see. A livery. Is a livery a, a very much a um, an American um, term? It might be what's going on here. It might be what's going on here. Okay, so. Um, another couple of books that you might find is you'll find the Pathfinder First Ed Edition is um, uh, Pathfinder First Ed Edition, the, the Game Mastery Guide. It's actually pretty good. It's got a, a nice collection of sample dungeon locations. Okay, so this is not what I was looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. Here we go. So Dungeon Chambers, let's see how our list compares to what Wizards of the Coast has got. Now, Wizards of the Coast list is not 100 items. What they have here is a list of items that have, you know, you roll a percentile dice, but not every single percentage is another room. Um, a schoolroom, yeah. A classroom. I believe a classroom is, is probably what we'll do. We won't say schoolroom, we'll call, call it a classroom. So we, we know what a classroom is. So we go here, classroom. Um, so we have in this book antechamber, we have armory, we have audience chamber, we've got those already, we've got an aviary, we've got a banquet room, we've got barracks already, uh, we have a bath or a latrine, I believe we have a bathroom, that's fine, we have bedrooms, a, a bestiary, I don't know that I like the idea of using a bestiary, I feel like a kennel is probably the best way to go. Um, bestiary. What is a bestry? A bestry is various kinds of animals, especially da, da, da. Uh, what is an example of a bestry? A bestry I feel like is re usually referring to a, a book rather than a location, so I don't know that I like that. I think the kennel idea is a, a lot better. Um, a scullery, I think I remember the, the concept of a scullery. So we'll we'll grab the scullery and put it into there. Where's the scullery here? Scullery S S S S S. Scullery. Okay, scullery is down. Yep. I can't remember what a scullery is, but I am yeah I know they exist, <laughs> and it's usually a room. Okay, good. Um, we could have we could have a zoo. I I, I think yes, we could have um, a a cage. I think when instead of saying zoo, we'll just say cage. An animal cage would probably be a um, a sensible thing. So let's put in the word cage because um, you're going to have a whole room that is a cage. Um, so cage, 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 cell. I feel like cell and cage are essentially the same, but a cell is for holding people. A cage might be for something else. A cage. Okay, we'll put it down. Um, 
we could put in cell as well as in part of a prison um, what else you got here I'm trying to keep up with your ideas people menagerie uh, <sighs> explosives chemical storage uh, I think we a storage room is probably all we really need to put down I don't think we need to say I mean you can store whatever you like in there storage room is kind of covering all of that yep we've been raided who have we been raided by can somebody tell me who the raid was from I I, 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 uh, I missed it <laughs> my my guess would be it would have to be Taryn because Taryn usually redirects his traffic to me if he finishes a live stream that would be my guess hello how's it going um, Robafet34 how are you doing we're in the process of um, making our own list of locations for oh I knew it it had to be Taryn Indostructo boy I had to I knew it was it was I knew it was Taryn I knew it was Taryn how's it going um, buddy how's that game of yours how your uh, how's your development process going not freaking you out too much <laughs> I see you're working on various classes and getting stuff done in your, uh, in your on, online live streams. I haven't been there a lot. I've been very busy lately, as you, like, everybody's busy, aren't they? You know. Hello, Dungeons and Chronics. How's it going? An observatory. We've already got an observatory, so we're, we're all good there. A scullery is the dishwashing room, often includes where they, they keep the mops and other cleaning supplies. Thank you for that. We've got it. Now we've got you somebody's put down alchemist lab we've got laboratory already so we'll keep we'll just keep it at laboratory do you like the mud room near the bars the boiler we've got a boiler room um and i don't know about a mud room but we do certainly have are you sure that you saw the, the rate alert i i missed it i'm jumping back and forth from stuff fishing up about the last four classes then going whole hog on adventure writing oh okay are you are you ahead of schedule, um, Taryn? Is that uh, is that's what's happening? Have you have you are you actually ahead of schedule, in in your plans? Because that would be wonderful. <laughs> I know I know it doesn't necessarily work that way sometimes when you're doing any kind of designing. A chantry now, chantry. I'm not. What the heck is a chantry? Is it called a chantry? What is a chantry? First off, a chantry is a term used to either know blah blah service Christian president. Uh, um, could be prayers. Okay, so it's like a chapel. My general feeling is the word chantry is going to be very hard for people to understand. The concept of a chapel much easier to understand. It's basically yeah, a chantry is basically a chapel. We don't need to use that. We'll just use chapel. Uh, sip. Oh, okay. What's this? Oh, so so I'll I'll type in here what we're doing. So <laughs> one of the things you'll notice if you look at game master um uh, game masters books or dungeon master guides and game master guides is they usually try to have a list of different types of dungeon rooms. So we're doing one hundred different different dungeon rooms i've already got quite a few by the bun the mud room <laughs> so that's what we're, we're currently doing because if you go and look at any of these books usually there isn't a hundred uh usually they have a lot less than that so i'm like is it possible for us to do something like that build our own i thought that would be kind of fun and obviously the, one of the, the other aspects of uh, those lists is they almost never explain what the hell the thing is. So, you, so you're going to get a few things that you you won't be quite familiar with. The word comes from the Latin, so okay, it means a burial place. Often, da da da. Yes, 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 yeah. A chamber that is used as a grave. I think the word. I think burial chamber or crypt. A crypt and burial chamber, the same sort of thing. So I don't think we need to do that again. So we'll leave the um, that one away alone. They've got chantry and they've got chapel, like they're essentially the same blooming thing. Yeah, the system is basically done. It's just uh, content, content, content now. <laughs> you mean, what uh, What do you mean, Taryn, is material for gaming, material for gaming, material for gaming. <laughs> oh. 
or, or whatever. Uh, dear, I don't know. I have a, I have an aversion to the word content nowadays because content can mean something that's useful because what you're making is something that's useful, right? But the problem is on YouTube, we make content and sometimes it's not just, it's not useful. It's sometimes content, it's just entertainment. Um, an empty room, cooperative waffles. I don't think we had an empty room here. You do, oh, how could I've done that? I, I, I'm actually talking about, we didn't put an empty room in there. Oh my God. There we go, empty room. Oh, he's paying attention. Oh, <laughs> better than I was. <laughs> and I was talking about empty rooms not so long ago. Oh, so I should have clarified, different than traditional mud room. The earlier description was a goblin soaking in mud. Ah, let me see, mud room. Mud room. So, what is a? It's a small room or entry where the footwear and other clothes can be... Oh, it's kind of like a foyer. The mud room. But it's actually, oh, it's, a, it's North American. Oh, that, that would make a lot of sense. So you guys call it a mud room. Okay, so it's it's a North American concept. Well, it makes sense. Most of my audience are from North America. Oh, okay. TikTok, yes. Yes, the, uh, <laughs> the mud room. Let's add the mud room to our collection of things uh yes right here i believe that is correct this is um our mud room okay <laughs> uh what do you what do you got here yeah that it's up to near about 19 classes that's a lot of classes can I just make a point, people? I've been trying to make this point for a long time that Taryn does what Wizard of the Coast should do. Instead of making just subclasses to attach to 12 classes, he actually makes full-blown classes, building them from the ground up, which takes a lot longer, requires more pages, and is actually going to wind up being easier to figure out how to make it work rather than just building... A whole lot of subclasses to attach to something like 12 classes and you know what our five class and um, 12 classes are or 13 classes counting the artificer that horrible mess that it is um so yes so Taryn does what i've been saying they should be doing and that is he builds classes from the ground up rather than just making a whole lot of stuff that sort of gets shoehorned into the classes now it needs the dungeons and quests. Yes, oh, absolutely. And that'll be one of your big factors, right, is um, making adventures to, to be run, for sure. A drawing room. Now, I believe we had a drawing room already listed here. Robert Fett, 34. Um, we have a drawing studio. So rather than a drawing room, we've got a drawing studio, which is a swimming pool, an indoor swimming pool. Yes, let's have an indoor swimming pool. <laughs> yeah like the big classic um planning room with the big map so the war room so um so robber 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 fett 34 we, we do have a war room i've listed one down so we've got that there so yeah so we've done that one um but yes a swimming pool let's stick a swimming pool in here every every dungeon should have a swimming pool <laughs> uh, at least at least a small one Swimming, swimming pool. Like the, um, the big Olympic swimming pools, right? Work rooms. We've got a workshops. Laboratories have got that. Uh, different professions. Yeah, we don't need to just differentiate all of them. An elevator. I actually think that's a good idea. Um, Joe, brilliant. An elevator. How often do we have a room that's an elevator? Somebody's put down laundry room. Very, very sensible. I like it. Let's put the elevator in there first, though, because uh, we missed that one. I need to put it beside the empty room. There we go. The elevator. And elevator. Yes. Um, 
And then what do we got here? Somebody had put down something else. Ah, laundry room. Shoehorns doesn't belong with uh, in, in written rules. <laughs> I like the old simple four classes and bend them to, to the concept. Uh, and to each their own, um, Fred Huber, I totally get it. I've played plenty of, um, a little bit of Beck Me basic D and D, and um, I, I can see the appeal. And I I think <laughs> there's a lot to be said for playing that system. Uh, it plays fast, plays plays easy, and uh, it's it is still an enormous amount of fun. So absolutely. Uh, laundry room. I want to add laundry room though. Seven classes I've written for five E so far. Not that they've necessarily that they're necessary, but I love options. <laughs> I know you do. Best dungeon swimming pool has to go to, uh, <laughs> yeah, White Plume Mountain, absolutely. Yeah, let's go to the laundry room. Let's get our laundry room in here. Um, it's after kitchen, isn't it? Laundry room. That is good. Holy shit. I I'm not going to even tell you how close. I, I should be going and taking a rest. I'm really bushed, by the way. But we're probably not going to be stopping anytime soon. I'm going to keep going. Harem. Um, Crunchy245. We already have a harem suite. Okay. Somebody insisted I put that in. It's there. Okay. So <laughs> I'm not putting in a man cave. I've, so <laughs> Nacho Nacho Man had said I should put a man cave in there. If we're going to put a man cave into the list, we're going to have a Bourbon's cave as well. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to leave that one alive. <laughs> Medical ward, I've, we've got a surgical room. So a medical ward is like a collection of rooms. So I'm going to just go with, we've got a surgical room already, a triage room, you might say. Um, yeah, ha, yeah, yeah. Fred, Fred Huber had that come. <laughs> it's already been done. Cloning chamber, we could put a cloning chamber in there. Why not? Put a cloning chamber in there. Let's go with cloning chamber. Uh, Cloning, C, 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 clone, there, there we go, cloning chamber. Right. It looks like I'm going to have to go back to this book and see if there's anything here that we haven't already put down. Let's see if, uh, let's see if these books can actually do anything for us. <laughs> Chancery to separate from the real world religious of the chapel. Um, so, cooperative waffles... Um, the use of chancery to separate from real world religious and um, connotations of chapel. I I'm gonna I'm gonna say right now, just make it really clear to people. Um, I don't care about that sort of thing. Okay, uh, it's a fantasy world that you're running. So if you want to have a chancery or a chapel, uh, putting down the word chapel is is not a it's not something like taking ownership of that is like that's my thing you can't mess with it i'm just not that sort of person okay uh i know people here get caught up in these things i don't care about that sort of thing i'm christian but i don't go and put forward my ideas about that on my channel because that's not why you come here in the first place so so whether you call it a chapel a church a chancery I, I, I really don't I, I really I, I don't want to get into the the PC um, you know politically correct uh, word meaning war it's just not my thing um, next well don't get in the way of playing with uh, back me yeah that's very true Jasper uh, so for those of you who don't know Jasper a AK I'm pretty sure I'm right but Jasper AK is the one who made the fillable PDF uh, that we use when we're doing the, the Beck Me basic Dungeons and Dragons character builds. And if you go online, you'll probably find his his character sheet. And he was actually explaining to me uh, how he built it, why he built it that way. Uh, the a few, It was a week ago or a bit more than a week ago, which was quite interesting. I, I kind of enjoyed um, chatting about that. It was great. Each of the royal family has their own cloning chamber. <laughs> Can the brain reside in the pool? Yeah, probably. Map making room separated from the war room. Mm, a temple, neither a temp, neither is a temple. Yeah, yeah. Look, whether you use a chapel, I'm just thinking war room, a map room. I think the war room is is really the map room. Well, I mean, whether we call it the war room or the uh, the map room, 
I'll put down map room if you like. I mean, and I, I think it's essentially um, a bit, bit of the same sort of stuff if you ask me. Alright, so let's have a look here at this book since uh, it is supposed to be able to fill in all the gaps for us, right? Next, um, Sistian system. I don't know, is that really worth putting in there? I don't really know that it is. It's... Okay, a tank of stored water, uh, especially one supplying taps. Uh, okay. A system is a waterproof receptacle for holding liquids. Since are often built to catch and store rainwater. Oh, I suppose we could include that. Yeah, yeah, we could put that in. Storing water. Fine. Let's add that to our list. Um, system. Uh, H I J K. So we'll put that there. System. Okay, next. What else? Uh, we've got classroom, uh, closet, we've got wardrobe, closet, I suppose we can put closet in, I feel like it's the same sort of thing, but yeah, we can put closet, uh, what else have we got here, a conjuring room, it's, I suppose that's what you're trying to refer to, I guess, when somebody said something about wizards and mages or something, so I suppose we could say we could have a conjuring, a conjuring room, Mm, yeah, not my favorite one, but conjuring room. Put a question mark beside that one. Uh, a court, courtroom. It's not a bad idea. A courtroom, you could have a courtroom. Um, where will we put this? We put this probably right about there. Courtroom. Okay. How's our chat going? An interrogation. I think we have a uh, a torch chamber already. How how are you doing? How's it going, um, Dungeon Minister? Yeah. I could tell, yeah, it's it's basically just another office. So we've got um, cages for for animals already. So that's all cool. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da, animal menagerie, map making. Can Steen, gathering clean water. Yeah, Solarum is already taken. Yep, no, it's it's already taken. We've got that one down. The buttery. Dungeon Minister. I knew you were going to come up there. Man. I've talked about these before, too. I've forgotten it. Um, these, are a lot of, these are a lot of locations you find in a castle, if you had figured it out. Or in old manors and homes. The green room. What is the green room? You have to explain to me. Did we have the buttery? It's called something else, isn't it? The buttery is... Oh, I can't remember exactly. The image of the chapel temple isn't set in a player's mind yet. Chantry makes a player ask more questions. Uh, it does, but... Um, yeah. I, again, I'm, I'm not caught up in it. I don't, I don't really... I mean, I could use the word chapel, temple... Um, chancery, I think they all really mean the same thing. Steam room, we've got a boilers room, by the way, um, country 245, I think that's what you're trying to refer to. A larder, yeah, that's actually a pantry or a larder, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, so let's go with larder. Did I get it right? Probably not. <laughs> there I... Yeah, no, I've got larder down. No, that's not how you spell it, Fred. <laughs> let's, let's try again. Um, ooh. Hate to say it, but I, I think we're getting close to 100. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed we'd get close to 100? So. A loom. A loom is, a, is not a room. A loom is, is just a, a device, right? So... The Fletchery or... Now, what is that? Um, yeah. So we've got... Da, da, da. Let's let's put down... I don't know. I'm going to have to lock this one up, um, Fred, because I'm not too sure what it is. Jasper. It's not a bad idea. 
I saw that idea um, just now, and it's not a bad idea. I just want to look this up just to get an idea of what it is. I don't know if it's going to work. It sells arrows. Hmm. Not really what I was, you know. Some, sometimes I find the terminology that, um, and the, the people that know, understand things are too close to your own country. So it's hard for somebody else to understand. A boa is a master craftsman who makes bows. So it's a person. It's not, a, it's not actually a room as such. So I think, yeah. Fletchers make arrows. Yeah, I get, I get it, but it's, yeah. Ah, Sanctuary. Hmm, okay. Next. Uh, let's do this one. I'm struggling to copy and paste this, Jasper, but I'm getting there. And... People want to finish this list. <laughs> A container for holy relics. It's a container, though. That's 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 the problem. So I, I don't really feel like it's a it's a room as such. Um, ah, dormitory. Dormitory is actually a dormitory is actually a collection of rooms. So it's not really a room, is it? It's it's a it's a term for many rooms. Um, a dressing room? Do they they do they did have to have dressing rooms back in the day, didn't they? Mm. Dressing room. Okay, let's put dressing room in. Dressing room. And a mirror room. Gallows. Gallows is a, a structure. It's not really <laughs> we can put our gallows in our torture room. We have a torture room. A smoke room. Oh, I see. A bathhouse. We've got a bathroom already. Fletcher, mirrored room. Um, almost feel like a mirrored room is its own thing. It's like its own thing, isn't it, really? When you think about it, mirrored room. It's uh, it's that thing that you you almost always want to have in a in any kind of kennels. Pale rider, hello, pale rider. We have we have kennel. We have kennel. It's there. Um, we've got the panic room, uh, a smoke room. I'm just trying to belfry. Belfry is for a tower though. Library, I believe we have library. Yes, we do. We have library. Um. You can also have an art gallery, but you can have just a gallery as such, right? So I'm actually thinking we should add gallery as well. Uh, just because they were common. Gallery. Did we include a ballroom? <laughs> we could put a ballroom there. A game room. I haven't added a game room as well. So, oh, did somebody add something like that? Or before, I can't remember. Game room. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sure we had guard house here already. I'd be it'd be stupid if I did. no, I didn't miss guard house. That's there. I knew it was. Gallery, guard house, gardens, granary. Doesn't know what that is. So that's a bit of a problem. So we'll put a little question mark for that. Okay, cool, cool. Um, no, that ain't fun. That ain't fun. Laboratory, library, lounge. I guess, did, do we have lounge? I don't think we put down lounge. It's a pretty simple room, isn't it? It's just something you would normally have, a lounge. Or the living room. Um, did we have a meditation? A meditation chamber? I almost feel like we definitely have to have a meditation chamber because that seems fairly basic stuff. Uh, meditation. Med, 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 meditation. Let's go there. 
add irritation chamber. Okay. Observatory, I'm pretty sure we included observatory already. No, we've got observatory. Office, pantry, I'm pretty sure I included the pantry. Um, a pen or prison, I'm pretty sure we included a prison cell. Uh, reception room, that's actually not a bad idea. A reception room's a pretty standard thing too, isn't it? So let's put in a reception room. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure we have, is that 100? I think that's 100 different rooms. And I think we could probably keep going. It wouldn't be that hard to just keep going. So let me share this with you people. A shrine. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna the concept of a shrine, a chapel. I think we're uh, chancery, all that sort of stuff. I think we're gonna put it all together. It's its own thing. Yeah, belfry, bell tower, summoning room, tannery. We've got that. So let let's let's at least show everybody what we've got. A gymnasium. Oh, I I, I want to put the gymnasium in. We absolutely have to have a gymnasium. That is that is a that is a room that needs to be there. Well, that's just pushed us over the top now. Well, that just ruins everything now. <laughs> now we've got too many. <laughs> Something has to be cut and cut. Something has to go. It can't all stay. <laughs> a gymnasium. A gymnasium. There we go. Love it. Don't worry. The torch chamber was already there. It was one of the first things that you guys suggested when we started doing this. A smithy. We actually have a forge or a, um, I think the forge or a blacksmith, um, how do you call it? Yeah, it's, it's covered. Naked yoga room. Oh, I don't think so. For 101. You want to go to 200. I don't have the, the ability to, to contend with that. <laughs> I, I am, I'm a little bit rough around the ed edges today, but let me at least go through all the rooms we've done so far, so you can see them. So I'm going to drink some water, I'm going to read them out really fast, really, really, really fast, and then you can see that there is no problems finding ideas for rooms for your dungeons. So, um, antechamber, art gallery, armory, attic, audience chamber, aviary, Banquet hall, basement, uh, bathroom, barracks, bedroom, boiler room, buttery, carriage house, which is basically just one room, uh, cage, cell, they kind of very much the same, uh, cellar, chapel, cistern, cistern uh, classroom, cloning chamber, conjuring room, hmm, uh, cool room, or that's the ice room basically, um, they were also called pantries, uh, Courtroom, closet, crevice. Got to have a cre cre crevice, that's a room, right? <laughs> Crypt, dining room, dovecot, which is basically just a single room um, structure. Uh, drawing studio, the dressing room, a dump, an elevator, an empty room, because this is the topic for today. Foyer, fungus room, but that's where your mushrooms are. Gallery, uh, a game room, gardens, or garden, garden, I guess... I'm going to put a little question mark beside that. Okay, a granary, which I'm not too sure about that one yet, but we'll see what's it's there. Guard room, uh, gutter robe, uh, greenhouse, gymnasium, Harlem suite. Let's go suite, not sweets. Uh, kennels, kennel, kennel. Kiln for uh, pottery, uh, kitchen, laundry room, larder, lounge, map room, meditation chamber. Mine. I don't know about that one. Not my favourite choice on that one. Uh, morgue, a uh, mud room, music room, nursery, livery, living room. Uh, we have uh, living room and lounge are pretty much the same too, so they're not in the right place. Library, laboratory, padded room, <laughs> yeah. uh, reception room, scullery, sleeping quarters, which is basically just another bedroom. Solarum, 
uh, storage room, maybe we've done that more than once, uh, surgical room, swimming pool, panic room, pantry, parlor, pools of water, pool of water, let's just pool of water. I don't know why we've got that one there, I'm going to put a question mark on that one as well. It's a, it's an odd one, we already have a swimming pool. Um, office, observatory, cave, often have caves, sauna, uh, sewing room, sewer, stable, study, forge, tannery, teleportation room, tomb, torture chamber, treasure vault, theatre, trophy room, throne room, war room or the map room, uh, wardrobe, walk and wardrobe, waxworks, uh, well room, uh, worship, why do I have worship? I have no idea what that's all about, let's just get rid of that. And I think Monster Lair, we're going to get rid of that as well. Doesn't need to be there. The Mirror Room, uh, a prison, uh, I don't know about that one. Okay, Maze, Crevice, and that is, oh, 99. We've got 99. That's 99. How's that? 99 different things. Let's get rid of this. Shuffle you back over here. A Bat Cave. Yeah, work a cave is a bat a cave and a, and a bat cave. They're pretty much the same thing, aren't they? And a prison is, is a collection of cells. I I kind of feel like the word prison just needs to come off. We just it's a it's a prison cell. Just call it a prison cell. One prison cell. One room. <laughs> We're gonna have multiple prison cells, <laughs> but it's it's one room. Workshop. I'm pretty sure there was workshop on here. I'm very very sure. Um, there was a, a prison cell. So I think we've got a few repeats here, which means I'd have to go through it. But I'm pretty sure we have workshop. Because we were mentioning it before. Did I not write it down? Maybe that's what's happened here, is I just didn't write it down. Cell, cage, cell, cage. Oh, maybe I didn't put workshop down. If, I, if I've missed it, it needs to go there, right? Let's work shop right about smack it there. Workshop. It's a workshop. Workshop. Okay, that that'll be what it is. There we we, we have. I'm pretty sure we have a pretty much what we needed. Back have training room. A gymnasium. I feel like it's good enough. Artifice room. What is that? Herbs and potions. <laughs> the amber room. Yeah, yeah. Escape room. We've got a panic room. An escape room's of a, a, a panic room, right? Antechamber. We've got the safe rooms. We've got that. We've got a lot of the stuff that we needed to have. Um, we can put in a salon. That that would be funny. Let's put a salon in here. Let's add salon to here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, while you're adventuring, you can do your hair and your nails. <laughs> uh, dear. So that I think that should put us up to 100. We've got 100 different ideas there. We've done what we needed to do. I don't think we need to worry about doing any more. I think that's good enough. Don't you? I do. I do. I, I think it's more than, more than sufficient for today. So I'm going to end this poll. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow. We'll be covering, well, what's tomorrow? Oh, well, world building. That's right. We're going to build a world in an hour and a half um, from scratch. So, yes, a barber, a game room. I think we had game room down already. Oubliettes. Yes, an oubliette's not a bad idea. It's kind of like a, um, a priest hole. <laughs> no, it's not like a priest hole. I might get a bowling alley <laughs> game room. Ah uh, dear. So yes, look, we are we are all good. So hopefully tomorrow you're all ready for doing some world building, right? That's that that's my assumption. So I'm assuming that you're ready to go. So we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. So I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been here. Big thank you to my patrons. Everybody who's been in chat, uh, thank you to Indo Structo Boy or Taryn and everybody who jumped over from his live stream to join us as we uh, I, as we build things together. This is what we do on my channel. We actually world build and make stuff together all the time. It's very common. So Tavern, 
<laughs> you're not you you guys really want that bar in there you want a place to drink don't you <laughs> you, you <laughs> and i suppose you could say a tavern is one room fred it's one room <laughs> so yeah goodbye to everybody thank you to overboard uh country 245 cooperative waffles fred huber as always really helpful uh in this whole process jasper ak thank you for being here uh dungeons and chronics there's a few of you here. Uh, the Dungeon Minister, which I was a bit surprised to see here. But um, hey, I'm glad when he jumps in, when he can. That's always nice. I'm hoping that we'll see more of him and in the future and maybe even together. That would be good too. Give it time. Uh, Derp, thank you for being here, Derp. Conservatory, not a bad idea at all. I, I am, I'm, I've just spotted that little idea of yours, so I'm... I'm 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 actually grabbing that and uh, and placing it into the list because uh, I think it's a it's a good idea. It's a definitely one that I had missed, and um, might be a little bit of a repeat with some of the other things, but we'll sort that out eventually. Anyway, uh, who else was here? Pale Rider's been hanging out with us. Thank you. If I've missed anybody in the chat, it's because there was so much information, so many ideas, and I just yeah I just couldn't keep up with it all. So yeah, thank you for all of your feedback. No matter where you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, or the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Um, Robert Fett, 34, I forgot about that one. Uh, please, be nice to your neighbours. Look after yourself and your family and your friends. Um, life goes on. And um, yeah, hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. Gosh, Jeremy was here as well. Man, there was a lot of people today. <laughs>